guys. Just checking in with y'all. I know you've been worrying about me. <clears throat> but I just want to let you know that I'm doing better. It's it's just a wee bit better every day. But at least it's better. And, and I don't think I'm going to end up in the hospital. But we'll see. Look how pretty it is outside. Sun shining. That's the beach right over there past that yellow building. I'll be glad when I can walk down there again. Be nice. Uh, it's 50 degrees in here. Uh, 50 outside, 73 in here. Let's see, am I getting that? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Um, anyway, um, I'm sleeping better at night. Um, last night and the night before, I... I slept real well. I, um, actually, I didn't take the promethazone cough syrup because I was wondering if maybe that was um, making me cough worse. Maybe it has an expectorant in it or something. Although my doctor said it was supposed to suppress the cough. But I had uh, two scrambled eggs for breakfast and uh, two cups of coffee. I've already drank one big tall glass of water. Now I'm making my um, cup of hot tea, so come along with me and I'll show you what I'm making. Um, Madeline went grocery shopping for me yesterday and she picked me up a bag of lemons. And uh, of course I use my Louisiana. It's, it's really for iced tea and it makes excellent iced tea, but uh, <clears throat> I'm using it for my cup of hot tea too. And I'm just following y'all's advice and drinking and drinking and drinking some more. <laughs> One of you told me to drink, rest, repeat. <laughs> so I'm going to put my fresh lemon in here and squeeze it. My little squeezer I bought at Williams Sonoma a few years back. Do y'all remember when your mama had those old um, glass lemon squeezers and I wish I had one. You would just put the lemon on there and twist it and twist it. It might make it a bit bitter, but I'm going to put the whole lemon in here because I think I need it. Uh, anyway, those old, I wish I had, still had my mama's old glass lemon squeezer. I don't know if I ever personally owned one myself or not. I, I just can't remember. And then I think I want to go ahead and use the rest of the honey. Um, I really did um, got me a brand new bottle here, so I, I have plenty of honey. So I just wrote a list and, and um, had her get just exactly what I thought I needed to get me through until um, I'm able to make it to the grocery store myself. <clears throat> I called um, the post office yesterday. Ocean Township and talked to the uh, the clerk there and uh, he did assure me that he's holding all of my mail and my packages. He said he's not going to send anything back. So for my subscribers and all of my friends who have sent me uh, cards and, and letters and packages, um, don't worry about them. They're, they're safe at my little local post office. I've been doing business with them for a long time. You know, I told y'all I used to have an Amazon account. I, I used to sell used books and um, mostly used books that I got off the, the free shelf at the library. I kind of got addicted to it. I they, the chef is actually outside in the little foyer, and I saw these books on it one day. They were from a um, <clears throat> some type of um, a metaphysical bookstore. Maybe it had gone out of business or something, or you know, one of those um, medium type bookstores. I, I don't know, reincarnation type. There were three books on there, so. Um, Mm -mm, that's bitter. <laughs> I'll put a little sugar in it. 
Got to have it so I can at least drink it. So anyway, I um, <clears throat> I have the Amazon Seller app on my phone. And what that is, <clears throat> you can just scan the barcode on the back of a book or, or any item. And it will tell you what it's selling for on Amazon and how much it costs to ship it and what other sellers are selling it for and, and what your profit will be. Y'all, I scanned those. There were three of them, identical, brand new. I scanned that book, y'all. It was selling for $70. That was with free shipping. So I brought them home and listed them. Sold all three of them immediately. Um, I didn't get $70. I think I asked about 65 because I did charge the buyer a couple of dollars for shipping. <clears throat> Y'all, I just don't... So when did this thing's falling apart again? <laughs> it's so funny. I got to get on Amazon myself and, and order another tripod. I'll do that today. Thank you, A10 Toes, for um, <clears throat> offering to send me those two tabletop tripods, but um, I really have to use one that, that I can stand up from the floor, especially when I'm sitting here on the sofa recording. But anyway, I just don't... <laughs> I'm so short-winded, and it's so frustrating, but I am going to um, you know, put my jacket on and get all coated up and scarf and hat on today, and get out there and start walking. I gotta get some exercise. I can't keep vegetating on this sofa. But um I remember Jason who is um y'all know he's my oldest son. He's forty six now. I'll attach a picture of him at the end of the video. He's so handsome and he's such a sweetheart. When he was little, he's probably about four years old, um, uh, he was outside running and playing and he fell and uh pretty hard hit on the on the ground it was on the dirt and uh, he came up to me and he said mommy I just got the breathe knocked out of me <laughs> I thought that was so cute the breathe so anyway um I'm just gonna sit here and drink this hot tea with honey and lemon and keep pushing these fluids in me I will finish the uh, the 20 milligrams of uh, cortisone tonight but I still have another five days of the antibiotic so we're getting there y'all don't worry about me I'm gonna be just fine I love you and I appreciate all the the time and energy and effort that you've put into leaving me comments and all of the the love and prayers I just love you all so much thank you so much for enriching my life and just keep on coming back bye guys